so i'm back with another video and uh, today's video is completely focused on uh, on the new release which uh, recently came in and that's s4 hana 2020 and in this release we will be especially focusing upon uh, the items which are folk which are changed for central finance or if there is a new uh, enhancements or new updates for for cfin area but before we jump into details i just want to give you an overview that uh, SAP has changed the release names, so don't get surprised when you hear 2020. Uh, initially, it was YYMM, which means uh, uh, 1709, 1809, 1909, and now it is uh, this time it is uh, 2020. So, in that sense, uh, now future release would be of course uh, 2021. So if you can see on the screen uh, on top, uh, that's what uh, the view is. Uh, previous releases are by DD, uh, MMDD, uh, sorry, by M- YYMM and now it is 20. So we will discuss here uh, what are the changes which happened in release 2020 for CFIN. Uh, so first change, which a major change is the central budgeting on internal orders. Uh, then we have document spreading changes, ledger specific posting coming from non SAP systems, and then also deferred deferred tax announcement in initial load. So let's talk about central budgeting in CFIN 2020. The budgeting on internal orders can be centralized. So that's uh, given as a term called central budgeting. Uh, what that means is uh, that now rather than you maintain budgets on internal orders in different source system. You can simply uh, replicate your internal orders into target system and you maintain the budget at the central level. And it does not mean that you have to do transactions in central system. You continue your transaction in ECC system. However, when you uh, will do the transactions on those internal orders which are budgeted in central system, system will do the remote check which says remote budget check via RFC connections and will ensure that it checks the budget first and then it allows the transaction. Of course, uh, with this feature, uh, there are some features, some good benefits and some limitations. We will talk about those now. Uh, it is a very easy in a central mechanism to maintain internal order budgeting rather than you maintain this in multiple systems. You do it in one system. Central reporting available for budget. So of course, you know, from reporting perspective, it make it easy uh, so that uh, you don't have to do budgeting in different systems. You just do it in one system. And then a remote budget check that's real time online and also it supports to one to one and into one mapping cardinality for internal orders you don't need to worry about uh, internal order cardinality some some organizations have one is to one some organizations have n is to one and central budget can be created for mapping scenarios such as uh, one is to one mapping for internal orders as well as n is to one limitations uh, internal order replicated via cost object mapping framework only will be supported if you are replicating via another method any custom tool or you are replicating or you are only newly creating in s4 system that are not supposed to support it ko22 which is a budget maintenance transaction code in ecc is disabled will be disabled disabled as in transaction will only be in display mode it will not allow you to change budgets the moment you and allow a central system to have budget no standard consistency check available from source to target and io to io mapping will be supported only and not uh, production order to io or io to production order or maintenance orders and we have to also be cautious because it may impact the business continuity because uh, there is a remote check and if you have, there is an infrastructure issue that rfc connections are not working then in that case uh, the remote check will impact the business continuity and transactions will stop so that's about central budgeting. Uh, then we go to deferred tax. Uh, so previously with the release 2020 now, uh, the initial load of open items is changed for document which involved deferred tax code. So till 1909, what was happening is uh, generally documents are transferred without relevant te- tax information, which have deferred tax code and the entries in def tax underscore item table are not created correctly. Due to these invoices relevant for deferred tax from open items or balances are now transferred as a financial posting. So previously they were not getting transferred as a complete journal, but now they are transferred as a complete journal and system is also posting a correction document uh, in CFN itself, which is for technical reasons. 
uh, you should not uh, try to change delete or reset such documents so now you will have deferred tax information in in s4 uh, however after doing the initial load and before you do the start the real time replication you need to execute the report uh, r cfin r fins underscore cfin core def tech underscore item uh, because this report again checks and do the final uh, data update uh, if something is missing via initial load document splitting changes so now uh, no need to have document splitting in ecc systems it can directly done in s4 hana system when document is replicated so age old systems or like old systems of classic gl or any other system which does not have document splitting activated can be easily connected and take an advantage of s4 hana transformation it will also help to implement segment or profit center reporting without a huge data conversion exercise which was previously we have seen in another projects because uh, it was not supported so this is a one of the major change and will help organization to get uh, the new uh, new uh, new features uh, especially with their age old systems and then the last one is the ledger posting till now if from non sap systems the ledger the document were supposed to come in every ledger available in s4 hana by company code but now you can in slt layer uh, the transformation layer uh, you can have a option where uh, you can define uh, which particular document should go to which ledger and then you can uh, get the benefit out of that which is uh, you can post only to allocated ledger and for local reporting purposes and then no impact of on leading ledger set data so uh, it was not one not fit previously and you have to impact all your ledgers even the document is local or a text ledger but now you can only post to a specific ledger uh, from non sap system so of course you have to see the updated uh, notes for related to slt where you know the staging tables are provided by sap so that's our key changes uh, if i go into summary just uh, of course s4 hana 2020 overall has brought a lot of changes which are available now on uh, on help.sap.com Uh, these changes are specific to cfin area which is impacting the you know the specifically central finance i will come up with another video on s4 hana changes uh, just a summary so that everybody can rather than reading a 800 page document you can simply uh, see a summary i will come back uh, very soon on that so for now i would say uh, keep reading and subscribe the channel and do not forget to give your comments feedback and i will come with more videos very soon and thank you so much for your feedback till now and please continue to do so thank you